Now, if you didn't know, I hate politics so much that I'd rather us descend into chaos like the Planet of the Apes than be a part of anything political. If they told me that you have to vote for the president or North Korea is gonna nuke us, we're gonna have to see how good our missile defense system is. Talking about politics is like starting an argument with someone. No matter how many things you guys can agree on, the most minuscule difference can turn the best of friends into worst enemies. And for something that changes every four years, that's not worth it at all. And what really kills any motivation for me to get into politics is seeing just how stupid most of these people are when someone of the opposite political party is like, well, actually, we believe everyone should have access to this for free. And then they're like, so you don't want your tax dollars helping the community? And I'm over here like, so what a, what's the appetizer we're gonna get, guys? The shut the fuck up about politics looks really good. No? Fuck. Damn it. Well, I'm not splitting the bill with you. No, no, I'm not. No. And now with two of the oldest fucking people ever to fucking exist running for president again, I think it's safe to say that I'm not getting into politics anytime soon. Probably ever after what I'm about to show you. But let me lay down the foundation first. So if you're not into sports, the Super Bowl was this past Sunday, and something that is a joke amongst NFL fans is that the games are scripted and the players already know the outcome all the way up until the Super Bowl. So when the Chiefs won for the second year in a row, Big Boss Joey B was like, just like we drew it up, and then post this fucking deep fried dark Brandon meme, and this is the actual picture he posted. That's not me editing it, you can go on Joe Biden's Twitter and see this picture. And anyone who isn't a fucking Neanderthal of a human knows this was was about the Super Bowl. You could have maybe been like, oh fuck, has the dementia actually hit and he's gonna get kicked in, he's gonna nuke the world, but then you would have been like, oh yeah, sports is going on. But I'm about to read you some of the replies that were left on this picture, and you will perfectly see why joining politics, liking politics, is not that much higher than joining ISIS on things I would never want to fucking do in my life. But here's the first reply. This is what the President of the United States is tweeting while over 1 million men, women, and children are being slaughtered with weapons he has provided and paid for? If it bothers you that much, then do something about it, you fucking whiny bitch. You fucking whiny loser. Put that one in, the loser one. God forbid the president makes a joke about football while something he has literally no control over goes down in a country he's not even near. And trust me, if he didn't give them weapons, they would have still found a way to kill each other. Living in their country is like playing Escape from Tarkov in real life. And again, this was because of this. Not a stat they can dispute, nothing. They're talking about death when Biden is talking about sports ball. He's talking about touchdowns and you're talking about People getting slaughtered. Read the fucking room. Another reply said, I can't stop thinking of the child I saw tonight with their legs missing from their body, suspended against a wall for those who found them. I think of the pain they must have felt. I pray they felt none. I think of the horror those who found them felt. And then to see this? Be Han Solis. Words cannot describe how angry this makes me. I think you might want to see a therapist, because if you saw a child with their legs missing, and I know what picture they're referring to, but if you saw that, and then saw this picture of Biden, and it made you feel the same way, if not worse, then you gotta be a fucking messed up son of a bitch to think comparing these two things makes a valid point. Any normal person who sees a dead body and then sees the president making a lighthearted joke would instantly feel any other emotion than what they were just feeling. It doesn't have to make you feel happy, but to get so angry that words can't even describe how you feel, you might want to never get into a relationship for the safety of the other person who will more than likely be beat if they tweet something you don't like on the same day people are murdered in a fucking country that thinks God has a say in what's illegal or not. Oh, God doesn't like women doing that? Fuck it, it's done, you're done, women. Some of the replies don't even make any sense. Like this tweet that has the picture of the girl they were talking about, and then the picture of Biden saying, in a sane country, this would end the presidency. It looks like America's fucking insane then. We're insane in the fucking membrane, dog, because we let this happen. God damn, I feel crazy right now. Some of the more wild replies aren't even as long, but we got one that says, may the blood of innocent children and their families forever stain your hands. What? Jesus Christ! I get that he's giving money to people you don't like, but this is a fucking Super Bowl post. There are so many other tweets that this would have worked under, and this one isn't the one. This makes you look fucking stupid. You saw this, and let's just take a moment to soak it in. You saw this, and it triggered your PTSD about him sending money. 
you're a fuck, you're a pussy. We even got people who act like this picture is worse than anything any president has ever tweeted out ever in the existence of presidencies. This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen on Twitter and it's not even close. Get him out. And this is the most insane fucking thing for the official president of the United States Twitter account to post while Rafa is being bombed behind the distraction of the Super Bowl. What dystopian hellscape are we living in? What the actual fudge are you talking about? The Super Bowl happens every year around the same time, you big dummy. It's not a distraction. People are just choosing to focus on it because thinking about people dying 24-7 turns you into someone who thinks we live in a dystopian society when they're literally able to sit and fucking complain about the president from the comfort of their parents' house. Try doing that in fucking China. Try doing that in Russia. Try doing what you're doing in Russia. And you can look all this up for yourself, or I'll put the link to the tweet in the description. But if you look at all the quote tweets people have been making, you would have thought this was the original picture. The only thing that I think is dumber than this are the people who are boycotting McDonald's because one McDonald's franchise over there is supporting whoever they don't like. Y'all know the iPhones you're tweeting from are made by people who want to fucking kill themselves, right? But because the company they work for makes them sign a no suicide pledge, they can't. How is that any less worse than buying a burger from my local McDonald's? That does doesn't send direct help to whoever the fuck you hate. And all these people can vote, by the way, which is wild. There needs to be a system in place where a background check is needed before you can vote. And I'm not talking about a criminal one. I'm talking about a social media sweep to see if you're posting retarded nonsense like this. And don't watch this video and put words in my mouth. I don't care about what's going on solely because you guys take anything of what's being said and then make it related to the Israel-Palestine issue when it literally has nothing to do with the Israel-Palestine shit. I could be like, hey, where do you guys want to go eat? And you'll be like, any place that does support Israel and I'll be like I said what the fuck are you talking about? Unless you're directly helping in what's going on, being a bitch about it when the president tweets out something about the Super Bowl is actually worse than doing nothing. Take it from someone who's doing nothing. I'm gonna go eat McDonald's now. Peace.